And for tomorrow, you know, I love this RBLX. Uh, RBLX was a phenomenal, uh, phenomenal pivot today. Really, really strong pivot today. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Um, if if you hear me slur my words, I just bit my tongue so hard and I keep on reiterating, I keep on rebiting it over and over again. <laughs> so I apologize. Anyway, guys, I uh, hope everybody is doing well. So after yesterday's really, really aggressive uh, engulfing candle, uh, just on the whole market, right? Uh, we wanted to see what happens next. And the most important part of that sell-off that we, you know, we talked about going into the 50-day moving average, most important part is we wanted to see details of how this Omicron was going to affect life. How is it going to, uh, you know, react to once it, people got transmitted the severity of uh, the new variant? And slowly but surely, you're starting seeing uh, more and more details coming out that uh, it is not right. It is not aggressive. It is not aggressive as far as strength, as potency, transmittable. Yes, but the most important part is. Uh, it is less uh, potent than we saw from Delta and obviously the first strain uh, of the COVID virus. And, and that's kind of the whole point. Uh, the more we get that on this and the more people are vaccinated and all that good stuff, the hope is that more, if more variants pop their little heads out, the more important part is we're hoping that these variants are going to be less and less significant. So if you do catch this thing, it'll be, well, it will be a cold. It will be uh, like the common cold or the, or the a light version of the flu. And that's exactly what's happening. When you saw news uh, coming out this morning, uh, you saw that Pfizer and uh, BNTX, I believe, uh, they're coming out with some three doses of kind of like, you know, treat this thing or just, uh, you know, at least, um, you know, make people uh, be less uh, exposed to this thing. And that's the most important part. And the market really liked it. So not only did we engulf yesterday's action, all these uh, days of selling today, uh, going into today, I thought, well, maybe we could have a, a res day and inside day and a lot of stocks would get pulled up uh, that didn't participate in yesterday's rally. And that's exactly what happened. So not only did we uh, start building off yesterday's channel, but now you're starting to see even the names that rested today, uh, names uh, like Amazon, you know, names, uh, for example, like a Microsoft, names, for example, like NVIDIA, names, for example, uh, like an Airbnb, right? They're all striking distance after yesterday's big move to kind of wake up for tomorrow. So not only do we have really great setups for tomorrow in a very bullish environment, and now that this kind of Omicron thing is slowly but surely starting to dissipate in strength and starting to dissipate uh, in importance, now we're getting legs very, very aggressively potentially set up for, again, what we talked about, uh, which is traditionally a very, very uh, aggressive, right? Very bullish time called the Santa Claus rally and knock on wood, everything kind of spills over uh, into the first quarter, which is known uh, as the January effect. So when you look, do your, uh, when you do your, your, your homework tonight, you do your research tonight, you're gonna see a lot of really great setups. This expect, you know, the Airbnbs of the world, the Amazons of the world, uh, even NVIDIA, NVIDIA, uh, we saw really big, aggressive, uh, short-term call buying coming in on the 330s. Uh, we even saw the January 350s. This one is primed. It just needs uh, one really good day to take out this whole channel here, and this thing's gonna wake up. Uh, names like Rivian, right? Even names like Rivian that looked like they were you know ready for dead uh, just a couple of days ago, we started seeing some good call buying coming in as well. The 140s, the 150s coming in with short-term expiration. Maybe this thing is one day away from waking up as well. Uh, even Tesla, who's not out of the woods yet, right? Uh, slowly but surely is peaking up into the supply zone. And if Tesla can reclaim the 10 day moving average on close, that's when this thing is gonna start stretching up. So we're really, really 
ready, right? We're really ready. Um, I'm sure if you do your research tonight, you're gonna see hundreds of really good looking charts. And that's the point, right? You're not having one stock lead the market higher. You're having a whole smorgasbord, something for everybody, right? If you like fish, there's fish. If you like chicken, there's chicken. If you like meat, there's meat. And that's the whole point of a bull market, a bull market sentiment. Something could, somebody could feel comfortable trading whatever they feel like. And the most important thing, the still common denominator is, number one, bad news is being deflected. Yes, we're getting very, very aggressive, shoot first, ask questions later type of scenarios like we saw after Thanksgiving, but slowly but surely, we started negating all bad news as information was coming out. And the most important part is, and folks, this is very, very important when we continue to talk about nonstop pretty much on a weekly basis, is continue to look at the stocks that had a very, very aggressive option order flow. That's the name of the game. The shorter term expiration, the deeper out of the money you see repeat buyers over and over and over again, that is the formula of success in this tape. They're, they're betting a future event with short term expiration. And they're, once they're laying down big six and seven figure bets, those are the ones that are going to be high probability when they do confirm macro, they're going to be the ones that are going to go very, very aggressively in a short period of time. And for tomorrow, you know, I love this RBLX. Uh, RBLX was a phenomenal, uh, phenomenal pivot today. Really, really strong pivot today. Uh, they came in with short-term expiration for the 122s and the 130s. And if you look at a whole bunch of charts today, guys, I'm, I'm kind of gonna do a little, little bit of legwork for you. If you look at the charts, right, you see how this 10-day moving average, you have, usually have a couple of a uh, couple of cycles here, a couple of intervals that got rejected in the same area, right? Do Take a snapshot mentally of what this looks like, right? Now look at Airbnb, right? Now look at Airbnb. Now look at NVIDIA, right? Same thing over and over and over again. Look at snow, right? Look at snow, right? Look at snow, look at Amazon, right? Same thing over and over and over again. So going into tomorrow, and again, there's, there's hundreds of stocks. I, 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 I pretty much did my watch list throughout the day. I, I didn't even have to even look uh, at charts. Uh, one chart I do like in the biotech space, I'm not a really big biotech trader, but boy, oh boy, how do you not love this chart on VRTX? This thing is setting up uh, as well. So sometimes you have to play devil's advocate and start looking at a lot of different things uh, for the next day. And again, you always have to keep a uh, mind of risk, okay? But the most important part is sometimes it's so out there, one-sided on sentiment, the only thing you have to do is just wait for these things to confirm. And if they do confirm, we should get a lot of pretty good value uh, going into uh, tomorrow's session. So guys, I have to bounce a little bit early. Now that basketball season has started, both my daughter and my son, they got like, a, they're on both on three, three or four different teams. They play every single day, practice team. So dad life never ends. For all you guys who are in the webinar, please get there early tomorrow for early pivots. Other than that, guys, God bless. Have a great night. I will see you all tomorrow on the field. Take care.